It's just like it's just <clears throat> tedious, you know. It's like, would you do fifty push-ups every six hours? Yeah, you can do it, but it's like you don't want to. Like you don't want to. Like be- it's easy as hell. Like fifty push-ups is light. Fighting Brittany Griner probably easier. So it's like, <laughs> yo, she's a woman. <laughs> he's going. He's actually going but crazy. She, yo, she weighs like two fifteen. But she's six eight. I'm not fighting Brittany Griner, nigga. I'm six eight. I know you, <laughs> nigga. I will kill her, bro. She's cooked. She couldn't even get out of Russia. <laughs> Low ass pen fucked her up. I'm good, bro. She's getting cooked. Oh, I do actually. Okay, yeah, you gotta say it. Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to another episode of No Regulars Podcast, episode number. 137. They're getting closer. 138. Oh, no. Oh, God. I was about to, wallahi, I was about to say 138. Wallahi, I was about to say. Th- yo, on every. You know, it's crazy. Last pod, Corey said 138. And you said 137. Because well, that's my twin for it. Wallahi, I was about Yo, on everything I love, I was about to say 138. But I said, let me just say seven because, you know, like mellow. But. Nah, you should have went with freaking. Oh, my God. I'd have been the best. Bro. You should have went with Kobe. But. Welcome back to another episode, episode number 138. If y'all haven't noticed, it's your host, DWAK Darius. I got my co-host with me, Tyrone. I don't know what he's eating right now. Top up, you know, big fat, you know. What you, what you eating, brother? All right, so this is from uh, one of the best kitchens on earth. Um, I like to call it the, uh, this is made from Top Up HQ. <laughs> um, my mother made this, actually. <laughs> this is my meal of the day. It is chicken with some, I think, sweet and sour sauce that we fried. And some cheese and some butter, and noodles. The noodles have cheese and butter on it, but the chicken is like sweet uh, and sour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the bev, dang, which bev do I want today? Let's see. Let's see what he's gonna put out today, people. Uh, Let's see what he's gonna put out today, people. Coach Lock or Mike Vick? Just pick one. Log. Log. All right. So I'm going with a white claw. Oh, this is a high noon. What flavor? I thought it was a white claw. Um, this is pineapple. I chose this because I thought it was a white claw. Jalak is a white man. Yeah. So that's why I chose it. <laughs> if you said Mike Vick, I'd have chose the Mike's hard lemonade. But ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough, tough, tough. Going with a high noon, uh, pineapple. Let's see how the flavor goes. Yeah. So audio listeners, if you hear the chewing, it's from Tyrone. It's ASMR slash podcast. But subscribe down below, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. Post notifications if you're ready. You know, every we post a podcast every week. And now we're posting on Patreon, bro. So subscribe to our Patreon. It's only five dollars a month. Every every Patreon episode, we're gonna have uh the first thirty or an hour is gonna be free and then the p- rest of it is going to be posted on Patreon. I ain't so gonna lie, we be talking about some crazy shit on the Patreon. Look at the look at the clips on you look at the clips on Instagram, bro. We got it's uncensored, so we can say whatever we want. <laughs> Tyrone is I don't even want to say I don't want to say what he's bashing, but he's bashing something. It's crazy work. But oh, shout out again to Sir Nucci for sponsoring the podcast and sending us some good merch. Shout out to the boys. I can't pronounce it too well, Sir Nucci, but them them C shirts, they're tough. Yes, and sir. It's actually, great quality. Great quality. If y'all like baggy clothes, you know, like we back in the two thousands, this is very good baggy clothes. You know, baggy t shirts. They got hoodies. They got sweatpants. They got every streetwear thing you need. It's not just t shirts, people. So go hit them up. We're gonna put their links in the bios. All that good stuff. Thank y'all again for you know seeing the little guys. Can't even show y'all, but there's graphic on the back. Yeah, there's too. graphics on the it's back. Calm, but look, it's not even. Calm. It's not polyester. You know it's not. Saying? I don't know what this is. This, this is, feels. It's soft and and it's like heavy. Yeah. So it's not like a light shirt. That you, you know what I'm saying? Like a see-through, John. It actually fits really well, too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's and like I'm, a, I'm 6'8", saying it fit well. You feel me? And you're wearing a large, too. When's the last time you wore a large, bro? I, I'm saying it hit different. Like, <laughs> What's the know, last time you feel? They uh, got the good stuff, bro. Hey, man. Shout out to y'all, bro. But we're going to start the pot off today because Tyro wants to talk about, you know, Drake and Kendrick is going at it again, brother. It's your, like, your mans. Both of your mans. So Drake is like LeBron, and Kendrick is like Carmelo Anthony, in my eyes. Okay, now time out. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I thought you like Kendrick more than Drake. I do. I like Melo better than Bron. Oh, okay. But ah, <laughs> that's yeah. changed. That's what I'm saying. That's changed now. I'm On this podcast, lie. they gonna my, kill you. I apologize, Bron. <laughs> I will never disrespect you like that again. <laughs> Yo, but I used to like Melo was my first love. You feel me for basketball? Yeah. And LeBron, he's just the GOAT all around. Mm-hmm. Kendrick was my first, like, love for, like, all rap. And then Drake, he's the GOAT. He literally never misses. Mm. But I'm not going to lie. This is a battle for the ages, bro. 
is actually kind of tweaks. It's, it's OD. Is it compared to how it was in the 90s with like Ice Cube and all them? Or like Tupac and I'm uh, not going to I don't want to say them niggas are ass, but they were like the pioneers. So it's hard. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's actually really, it's actually real beef. Not uh, like. So you, you, like, do you think that you think Kendrick and Drake are faking it? That's why I want to really mm-hmm. ask. You don't think so? Not yeah. even a little bit. Check this right. Yeah. So niggas forget that Pusha T killed Drake. And my yeah. people forget is because when he talks about his son, Drake stopped dropping diss t- tracks. He's like, damn, <laughs> you know, I got a kid. And then he started flexing his kid now. And yeah, 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 yeah. So Kendrick, bro, you didn't even. So people, he didn't even listen to like last night. This literally happened last night. So y'all getting it fresh off the dome. Yeah, literally. Last night I was about to go to bed. Drake dropped. I'm like, yo, this is hard. It's like a seven minute track. Hard. Yeah. Then I'm gassing. I'm like, yo, he just killed Kendrick. I can't believe it. I'm talking to the homies. I'm like, this is crazy. 15 minutes later, Kendrick says, well, you thought I was pussy? And dropped. <laughs> and when Kendrick dropped, like, so, I'm not going to lie. I kind of got to go over everywhere where Drake killed him, bro. You got to go over everywhere? I got to go over everything, bro. Where Drake and Kendrick killed each other. Yeah, yeah, So, let me go over the tears first. So, you don't think that's not, like, staged, bro? Not a, <sighs> That's kind of that's kind of weird. Because they're exposing. Do you know what the stuff they're exposing? Like, Drake got a daughter? So, Drake got a daughter. Drake's a pedophile. I've been saying this. Yeah. Tom hey, hey, hey. I've been saying this for years. Hey, I've been saying this for two years, Ty. Did you leaked it to Kendrick? You told Kendrick? Yo, you yeah. heard the pod, bro. I've been saying this forever. No way he said that. No, he said it. Like, OD. I've been... He exposed he has another kid. He exposed that he's a pedophile. Like, he, he been sleeping that, with 17 That he raped somebody and paid, it, paid him bread to get rid of it. Oh, my... Drink got slapped up by Diddy. What do you mean? Like, like, no, like punch in the face. Oh, oh. <laughs> Diddy punched him. And oh, um, Drake didn't do nothing about it. Wow. Um... Then he exposed um, how he how he only uses Adonis because Adonis is more marketable. Yeah. If you look at pictures of his daughter, yeah, yeah. No disrespect to you know, it's a kid, but <laughs> she she isn't like she's not like a pretty looking kid, not a marketable kid. Yeah, yeah, I know. Where what you Adonis, mean. you know, the the, the blue, blue eyes, eyes curly hair. hair, that's a marketable kid. Uh, but the daughter is not. She, she looks, looks like a like, normal kid. Yeah, no. if not on you know, like if you side. had told me that's Drake, I would never knew. Like Drake, right. that's what like, I'm saying. You feel me? So wow. that's why he doesn't use her. Then on top of that, like Kendrick, like so this this is this is let me just go over this. Yeah, yeah I gotta go put ahead, some go some some precepts into this. Go right? ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The three Drake Cole, yeah, Drake Kendrick. We were arguing about this in the chat before, so they're the three top, in mm-hmm. my opinion. Yeah, yeah. Drake is the best music maker. He makes hits. He doesn't miss. Yep, that's yep. what he does. Mm-hmm. Kendrick has the best bars. Best lines. Okay, okay. His lines don't... His lines are double entendres or triple entendres. I'm not talking about line to line, whatever. J. Cole is a balance between the two, mm-hmm. but he's the best, like, just line for line that goes hard. Mm-hmm. He's the easiest to listen to. Uh, okay, I get what you mean. J. So, like, if you're not like me, I'm a big music guy. So, I listen to music. Like, I can listen to Kendrick and be like, yo, you peep the two things he put together in this. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you just listen to music because you just want to hear some bars, J. Cole is that guy. You're going to listen yeah, to J. Cole. You're going, you and you're just like, oh yeah, it's cool. The beat is hard. This is hard. Mm-hmm. Now, in terms of making great music, it's Drake first, J. Cole second, then Kendrick. Then Kendrick. Third. Okay. But for bars, it's Kendrick, then it's J. Cole, then it's Drake. Right? Kendrick, J. Cole. Okay. Then it's Drake. Then for easiest to listen to, then it's, it's J. Cole, mm-hmm. then it's Drake, then it's Kendrick. Yeah. But either way, they're all top three. Mm-hmm. Now, we gotta go. Now we're gonna go into this 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 thing, right? Uh huh. Did you the picture that was used when Kendrick diss Drake was a picture of uh, what's called Drake's father's briefcase mm-hmm. that he lost somewhere in a plane or some shit? Yeah, Kendrick has it. What's in that briefcase? Basically, he robbed his father. <laughs> Kendrick robbed Drake's father. <laughs> it, the picture of the 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 song cover. Yeah, he robbed his father. Really? They basically type shit. That's what I go. Wait, what's it? I had a black glove in it. Yeah. The black cl- the black glove was a triple entendre relating to um OJ. I was gonna say OJ. No. Nah. OJ, and then also making fun of Drake because he says he's Michael Jackson all the time. Ah. And also he's saying he's about to he's been killed he's about to kill this nigga, which literally yeah, like yeah with the, he got in. the gloves. Yeah, I get you going mean. in. All right. But um, so this is what with Drake's this his first this how why it went so hard. The first part it was a three parter. Uh huh. First part of it was kind of. It was good. It was a little mid. Yeah. But it was just a good song. It mm-hmm. was just, he makes good songs, so he made a good song. The second part is where he had acknowledged all the 35 other rappers that are trying to diss Drake. Yeah. Right? So he's like, you know, he talked about, we're all talking about everybody, right? Mm-hmm. He said Rocky, everybody, right? And it was decent. The yeah. third, and then he brought up one thing. 
So Kendrick has two kids. He brought that one of his kids is the father. No, the father of one of Kendrick's kids isn't his. Really? It is Dave Free. Dave Free. Oh, that's what he was saying? Yeah. You know what Dave Free is? Isn't Dave, he like a producer Yeah, or he's something? like the producer and he's like, he does like, like A&R stuff for like a whole bunch of West Coast rappers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel yeah. me? But he's real tight with Kendrick. He's saying that his, he he fucked Kendrick's his, wife and had the kid oh. and it's his kid. I looked at the pictures. Me personally, I looked at the pictures of Dave Free <laughs> and I looked at the pictures of Kendrick's little boy. I'm not going to lie. They look, they look alike? more like Kendrick's little and the baby's light skin. So I'm just saying. Wait, is his wife light skin? His, his wife is like really white light skin and then Dave Free's light skin. So, oh, but Kendrick's okay. darker than him. Okay, so what? Like, it's like, I, like, is it like my light skin? Who the kid? Yeah, the kid. The kid is like your light skin. Oh dang! But like, yeah. okay, so but how yeah. old are the kids? One of the kids probably like I think like four now. And oh, then the daughter is probably like two years older, three years older. Oh, so they're young kids. They're babies. Yeah. Oh wow, like Adonis. But so then look, they, he just brought up that day free shit. That shit made me go. <laughs> in the in the video, yeah. The the minivan he had, right? Uh huh. That was he was crushing a minivan. Is the same minivan that was used in Good Kid, Mad City, Kendrick's number one album, yeah, yeah, of all time that he's made, and he like was destroying it, basically saying, "I'm about to destroy you too, Kendrick." Right now, you fast forward. The third part starts off. So in the last disc that Kendrick had, it was um, and this is why I'm like, "Yo, Drake is that the one where he said when he was like, he can't say the n word." He started off the entire song saying "nigga." That yeah, was yeah. Deep. That was hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the first thing was um, Drake. So Kendrick in his last one, he said a bar. I forgot what it was. Mm -hmm. Something about fried rice. Talk, yeah. and he shouted out the store that had real good, uh, real good eats or whatever. Can yeah, say yeah. that's and that's in Kendrick's hood. That's in the West Coast. That's yeah, yeah. Kendrick's spot. Mm -hmm. The start of the third part of the of the diss, Drake was walking into that store. After hours in Kendrick's hood, eating his fried rice. <laughs> that he said it with was his fine. feet up, comfortable as hell in Kendrick's hood. Wow. In the bars, he was saying, Kendrick, you don't even go home anymore. Basically saying like, I don't remember the exact words, but he was saying like, Kendrick doesn't go to the hood no more. To, he doesn't go back to LA no more. He doesn't grow wow. no money trees over there. You know the song Money Trees talking about he gives back to his hood. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. He doesn't get back to his hood. He lives in New York now. <laughs> he doesn't even, you know what I'm saying? He's talking about this restaurant, but this restaurant don't even... Fuck with you like that because he's able to go in there and eat, yeah, 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 and have a good time. Wow, and he's in there with all his homies, <laughs> um, and then you know he's over there smiling and shit in the middle of it. It's Max. It's Max. It's wow, Max. That's it was OD. Max. He disrespected him. Od. It was Od. <laughs> then he said he beat his wife. Who? Seeing that Kendrick beat his wife, so that was. Good. <laughs> he he said he hit women. Yeah, he hits women, bro. Oh my gosh, it hit different. Hey, bro, it hit. It hit different. It hit different. It hit different. Sometimes you just got to hit different, bro. But yeah, so he had his wife, um, and I'm not gonna lie, the bars he was no, 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 no. You're, you got to see this. You gotta, I can't wait till you talk about the Kendrick part because when he, when he's, I've been telling y'all Drake is a pedo, bro. There's no way. Yo, he went in. There's no, no way this horny man. But I gotta show you. No, 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 no. no. You see this part? This is what he oh, that's the one that's. Isn't that the freaking dude freaking uh that owns uh the owns, he owns the restaurant or owns something no that that dude I don't know who that dude is. He's the dude that freaking um I think he created Bape. He might be. Like Bape owner. Because he used to be with Ferrari. But they're in there having a party eating it, eating the food. Eating the fried rice that the man talk about. Freaking um That's disrespectful as hell. What did he say? Oh yeah, so in the last one when he said uh what Kendrick said, he was like, I don't know if you that bar, he was like, You talking about uh he's taking up for Pharrell. Yeah. Talking about pushing P. Double entendre, because Kendrick really drops some double entendres. Yeah. <laughs> push a P, push a T. He couldn't push push a T, because push a T killed him in a, in a rap battle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then push a P, and he's talking about Pharrell, because Drake uh, disrespected Pharrell. Yeah, yeah, Forgot how it was. And then when he disrespected Pharrell, mm -hmm. Kendrick is standing up for Pharrell, Rihanna, and Beyonce. That's why he's starting his whole rap beef shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But regardless, though, he Drake said some hard shit. He was like, um, what did he say? He, I think it's in this. He said, you want to take up for Pharrell? Tell him get his legacy out my crib, some shit. Oh, wait, is it Nah, no, it wasn't that one. But he said, um, his whole basically said Pharrell's legacy, which was I think kind of stupid though, because Pharrell's entire legacy yeah. is actually like built off of his features and other shit. Yeah, and other stuff. Nothing with Drake, really. He has a couple songs with Drake, that's about it. Yeah. Um he talked about his big ass meat paws. Who uh, said that? Drake. Drake like he, talked, he was like, um, there's no big three, it's just a big D. 
Big Drake, double entendre, Big Drake, but then big, you know the video <laughs> yeah, he had, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 he tweaked. <laughs> so yeah, he, he bugged up. Yeah, he's a video proof. Yo, <laughs> that was a bar. What did he say? No, nah, I'm about to run it back. He said, he said, listen. Where is it black? Eddie? Remember when he said he doesn't want him to say nigga? Yeah. So he was like. Uh, we should have our sons play at the park because they two light skin kids. He said it would be two light skin kids playing at the park. But the thing is, because Kendrick talks about black power and all that shit, but he married somebody that's like not black, <laughs> and his son is light skin. Yeah. But then he was like, "You probably don't want to do that because you don't want to be at the scene with somebody that isn't blacker than you." That oh. was also talking about Kendrick's song. Uh, what's it called? Black and Berry Sweeter Juice. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Going crazy. Drake kind of went hard. And then basically also because Kendrick was like, Drake isn't even black. We don't want to hear you say nigga no more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Funny as hell. Wow. He, he, Is he, he wait, oh, yeah. he's half black, right? Drake? Yeah, he's half black. Yeah, Drake's okay. half black. But then he's just gelling off him. But he grew up. Yeah, he's gelling off him. He's just cooking over here. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Drake, so Kendrick proposed to Drake in 2015. Kendrick proposed to his wife in 2015. Yeah. And they still aren't married. Nine years, almost ten years later, <laughs> basically like, what? Why do you have cold feet about marrying your wife? Yeah, and then the day free shit, because day free. Oh, girl. so they're trying to he's, like he's co correlating them together. Wow, it is kind of crazy. You, 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 she's your fiance for nine years. That's wild, woman. especially if the woman like the woman would get probably pissed. Yeah, off. Yeah, exactly. But Kendrick has millions, so it's like. Loser. Yeah. Oh wait, this is part. This is my favorite part. Wait, what do we say? Is this it? Wait. Where's this? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? He says, "Shake that ass for Drake." So shake that ass for free. Shake that ass. Oh yeah, that's what I was listening. To. Yeah, yeah. What he said. Yeah, 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 he said that shit again. But yeah, now that was Drake. Drake's went dummy hard, but Kendrick was like, "I've never been pussy." So Kendrick released 15 minutes later. 15 minutes, like 30, 15 minutes later. I was like, what the heck? I'm laying in my bed. I'm like, I'm waiting to hear this one because I've been, I, I want to know. Kendrick was like, uh, so Kendrick came in. Did you hear it, Kendrick's? I didn't hear it at all. So Kendrick came in with the disc first. first so the first cover was just the glove uh -huh. and like shit in the background. Yeah. Niggas ain't know what that meant. It was the glove for OJ. And he was signaling like, yo, I'm about to kill you if you keep wilding. He wowed. Then he showed that, yeah, basically I robbed your father. First of all, <laughs> nigga. I got all his shit. This, you feel me? The OJ glove, Michael Jackson, all that shit, right? Yeah, yeah. You don't have the glove. I people, You don't have the glove. I have the glove. I'm wearing the glove but now. the glove I have is OJ's glove because I kill niggas. The glove you don't have was Michael Jackson's glove, but you're not even Mike because Mike doesn't Whoa. lose his glove. You feel me? Kendrick really... King Kendrick. I'm trying to tell niggas. So, look, <laughs> so check, right? He started off the, the shit. He said, Dear Adonis. And he... The whole verse. It was like another six, seven minute one. Yeah. This is why I say it's real rap because other people... Like they released a song that's two minutes long. Yeah. They were releasing seven minute tracks. I know that's what I'm saying. Yo, that shit was a long ass song. Kendrick said, "Dear Adonis," and basically, he was he was talking about how uh, Drake doesn't raise you and doesn't care about you, and he's a pedophile. And oh all, he was just this, he was basically talking about like. So did he actually? And he was he was talking to him like Kendrick was talking to Adonis like he is Adonis's father. That's oh. the most disrespect. <laughs> like imagine like imagine like you have a kid and somebody come in and like. Come here, let me teach you a lesson and trying to give him advice and talk to him like he's like, nigga, I'm right here, nigga. That's yeah, my yeah, son. that's wild. It's disrespectful. Yeah, OD. yeah, yeah. Verse ends. Second verse. He said, "Dear Mrs. Graham," talking about talking to uh, Drake's mom. Oh my! Nigga gosh. started talking to his mom <laughs> and said, "You raised a piece of shit." Like, <laughs> and he said that word for word, like you raised a piece of shit, son. Like, and he said, "I'm sorry, you have to go through whatever the case is, but now I have to everything out." And basically said how. He goes after girls who are under 17. I've been And pays them. And then when they, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then um, there's a, uh, uh, what's it called? There's like video, there's like a whole bunch of videos now on the internet of Drake like on stage bringing up little girls or like Drake like, um, like going at, like going to like casinos or whatever with yeah. like girls who look underage and shit. Bro. Geeking. I've been saying this ever since they locked R. Kelly up. Yeah. It's gonna, bro. I said Drake is the same thing, but he just didn't get caught, bro. Drake talk about women all the time, bro. 
Drake said he got a woman in every state. There's these. There's, there's not that many. Sorry, there's bro, not that many. <laughs> bro, there's, bro, there's these girls out here that be like 16, 15 that look like they're 21. You don't think Drake ever slid in DMs by accident? And he's like, you know, I don't care. But he's Drake. He can let. But it he's rock. Drake. He can let it because he can hide it. Yeah, people is. Yo, I've been trying to tell y'all. Y'all think it's that? He also talked about how one of the girls pleaded, like talked about. Well, so he also talked about one of the girls was like um, trying to go to the police about it and all that. Yeah, yeah. And he paid her like five hundred twenty thousand dollars to shut the fuck up. That's it. I need a mail. I'm not. I need. A, I need Drake. If if Drake took advantage of me, bro. Is what it is. Nah, but <laughs> yo, I just need like a hundred k. A hundred k is Drake. What that mean exactly? A uh, one million dollars. You also got to fuck Drake, bro. No, he he. I didn't want to. <laughs> like yeah, but it, it's Drake. That's a flex. That's yeah, it's a that flex, flex is worth Drake. that. <laughs> that flex is worth four hundred k. And I got Brett. That flex is worth four hundred k. I could get a million. No, you can't. I can't. I can get a million out of that dude. I don't think you could, bro. Well, you gonna kill me? Probably. Yeah. Probably. <laughs> yeah. He'll probably yeah, make it look like an accident too. Like he'll just. It, it, it'll probably cost him five hundred k to make sure you're done up. Yeah, that's true. You can probably call. A hitman costs like ten k. Why you know that? <laughs> <laughs> just in case. He's a, <laughs> but forget. Uh, so then he said that about that about that shit. Oh my gosh. Then he talked. To, then he said, uh, "Dear whatever her name is, his other his other daughter." Oh my gosh! And basically talked about um, his daughter saying like, you know, he doesn't talk to you, whatever cases, and he just started ripping him new one. And there was somebody else I forgot who else he talked. I think that's his best friend. How did he know that? I didn't listen to the end part because I was doing some the last part, the like last minute, the last person he talked to. But it, it came back right away. How did he know he had a daughter, Kendrick? Bro. Wow, yo, they got they really got some private investigators. And then there was something else that popped up. It was a uh, Drake. Had a tweet, and it it said um, it was in 2015. Yeah, and he just said "baby girl," and that was the same time he got the allegations of having a having a daughter, and nobody ah, uh, and he just said "baby girl" for no reason. Wow, bro, nah, this is a crazy thing. So that's what I'm saying. I feel like Drake has way more kids than he's talking. It's Drake, about. it's Drake, bro. I'm telling you, he got like maybe Max, bro. He was putting hot sauce in his condoms. Exactly. He, he come on, bro. And I feel like he probably not. He probably has more kids, and he probably aborted a lot of kids. Dang. He probably, yo, you know, bro, you know, bro. He probably, he probably went to Colombia and did went crazy. There's probably a kid in Colombia that looked like Drake. <laughs> yeah, it was OD. Yo, damn, Da Loki looked like Drake. You said who? Da. <laughs> Shout out to my name. Shout out to Da, bro. You watching this? I doubt it, bro. <laughs> but yo, nah, this whole beef I've been seeing, bro. It's crazy, son. That's crazy. I did not know he said the pedophile thing. But right now, in my book, Kendrick is winning because with a diss. Oh, bro, I finished chewing because this shit bust. Who are you talking? I just ate a chip. No, let me eat one more chip. Sponsored by Doritos. It's like now. Nah. Hmm? One day. But what the diss is in my book, mm -hmm. it's either even or Kendrick's up a, a little, little bit. Nah, he's up a little bit with that pedophile thing. Because <laughs> nigga hate Drake. <laughs> because also Drake's like most of his raps have been like regular shit. Like one of his bars was like, "Me and Savage go go to go to the six and get some money." Yeah, yeah. Why are you talking about you and Twenty One Savage getting money? Yeah, it's a throwaway bar. It was no point. It was just random. But yeah, Kendrick. So so far, Kendrick has made better. Like his songs have been better. The last one he dropped was not. That one was just disrespect. Mm -hmm. A serious beat, serious songs, everything. It was, it was very serious. The ones before that were like mm -hmm. just better songs all the way put together, like beats wise and everything. And then on top of that, his bars have been harder. Yeah. Drake had some good songs, but a lot of throwaway bars. Only reason why Drake is really in the running as much, this last one he did was super hard. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, Drake's fan base is just so strong. So they meet ride very heavily. Yeah, I told you Kendrick's fan base is a bunch of white people. Yeah, nah, you're and black. And, no, they're a yeah. bunch of white people and a bunch of underground artists. That <laughs> underground artists. <laughs> that's that's it. Nah, that you know Kendrick slam. actually has um more like uh, Billboard. I mean, uh, I, I'm, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, yo, white people. 
No, nah, like, <laughs> white people listen to Drake, bro. Nah. Gases, bro. It's like you're it's right like Kendrick, even. Bro. There's like different. What's wrong with white people? What's wrong with white people? I love white people. Yeah, yo, I'm going for the trend. There's racist, bro. <laughs> In in a world where UJ says I can't be racist, <laughs> I got two two minorities in me. Is that <laughs> but is that what you want to talk about with the Drake stuff? Because I got another thing we can talk about afterwards. Pause. What? That was crazy. You hear what you said? What I just say? I got two minorities in me. Oh, <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> I'm gonna quit myself. Dude, I couldn't let that slide, bro. That was- <laughs> Yo, bro. All right, I, I got a thing we could do since we were talking. We talking about disagreeing and th- well, not talking about disagreeing. We were talking about that to piggyback off of that. I have a segment I call "Agree to Disagree." Okay. So I have a lot of hot takes, and on three we're gonna say whether we agree or disagree. All right. Okay. So cinnamon rolls are a great breakfast item. Disagree. Disagree, like like shit. I'm oh not gonna God. lie, y'all that eat. Cinnamon rolls at nine o'clock in the morning. Y'all a bunch of big back, big people, yeah, and y'all worried. should stop eating that. I'm Go ahead, Tyron. Tag all, team. First of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, what type of nutrition are you doing? All right, you can have <laughs> cinnamon rolls for breakfast when you're like in high school, maybe your freshman year. After that, no nutrients, saturated fats, sugar, sugar, mm. high fructose corn syrup. They taste good, and you're gonna be hungry within an hour. So what are we really talking about? Bad breakfast. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to hear it. Don't even comment it. It's a bad breakfast. Like if I see you with that big, that big te- Texas uh, cinnamon roll that <laughs> you get from the from the vending machines, I'm judging all y'all. But honey bun soup, bad breakfast. Okay, bad breakfast, but yeah, it, it busts. It busts in general, breakfast. but you can't eat that. Like that's your first meal of the day. You're Imagine bugging. waking up and eating a cinnamon roll. You're bugging. That's crazy work. You're that's bugging. like waking up eating uh, sour patch kids or like a freaking <laughs> cookie. Like that's wild, bro. Super bugging. All right, Batman is just as op. As Superman. Agree. Agree. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was going to say. Agree. He has mad plot armor. Low key. OD. Bro. Like, he knows how to kill everybody. Like, come bro, on, bro. I see. He just th- knows everything. Bro. Batman's prep time is OP in itself. You give that man. <laughs> that man's power is time. Yeah. <laughs> that, man's time that man's power is practice, bro. Yeah, bro. And, you can, and he never, never gets caught off guard. He yet. never gets caught lacking. Like you can really, like he's the only one that beats Superman. They was like, I see somebody. They was talking about like how long you think it would take for Batman to have, like how much prep time does Batman need to take down Godzilla? Like, <laughs> like a day, bro. Hey, bro, in Batman terms, but I, I do. The writers want him to have. Bro. I do agree. All right, bacon is overrated. Ready? Two, one. I disagree. Agree. You agree? That shit overrated as fuck. Bacon's overrated. Bacon, regular ass bacon. Yeah, you said turkey bacon. I'd be like, you're you're spitting. Why do you say it's overrated? Just because of pork. One, swine is bad for you. That's your haram. All right? <laughs> First of all, swine is bad for you. <laughs> Second of all, bacon is mad. Like regular bacon has mad fat in it, and and I don't care what nobody says. Oh, well, it tastes good. The fat has no flavor. It's fat. the meat part that has the flavor. Fat bust, pause. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the, the fat doesn't even have any flavor, though. It's just chewy. <laughs> Things like to believe in their head that it has flavor. When you bite the fat, it has no flavor. See, mm-hmm. all right, when you all right, when you make turkey bacon, do you make it extra crispy? Like crispy, not extra. Though. Not extra, okay. Because, I, bro, I, you know what? I like bacon. I don't mind turkey bacon. I like regular bacon. But I don't think it's overrated. I think bacon is a good either complimentary piece or the whole thing. But that's not what people think. So put it like this: somebody's like, "Yo, I made it some mac and cheese." Word, I put bacon bits in it. Oh, niggas geek. That's too. That's overrated. I got some spaghetti. I threw bacon in it. Oh, <laughs> got you an egg and cheese sandwich. Got you a bacon egg and cheese sandwich. Oh, everybody starts. It geeking. makes everything better. It's gas. All right. Okay. All right. I think it's gas, bro. All right. Country music is pretty good. Three, two, one. Agree. Agree. Now you're crazy. Now, you want to say, I'm going to talk for it. Country music is literally R&B music for white people. Yo, y'all peeping, he just, if it's about white people, it's different, right? Yeah. We're all people, bro. Country music is way better than what people say it is. Like, bro, there's some country songs. Like, like for me and Jay's wedding, we're going to have some country music play. I ain't going to lie. (laughs) Nah. (laughs) Nah. 
You know, we get down some. It's not like she listens to country music too. Yeah, bro. It's not like no get down country like with a banjo. I'm talking about guitar playing in the background, a little bit of accent into it. Guitar is Hold a banjo. On. I just caught you, bro. It's Hold the on. Same shit, bro. <laughs> Hold on. I'm about to play this one song. That's I know mean. this. I know this country song, bar for bar. Look, look, look. You like that shit? No, that shit was fucking. They play that at Levi's. <laughs> that one in Wrangler. Levi's, Wrangler, and Gap. Those three is where they play those songs. That is, there's nowhere else they play that. <laughs> Maybe at like a ranch in, in Arkansas. <laughs> but like, in Arkansas, that's yeah. way white. I thought he was gonna say like Texas. But like, nah. You're telling me Pharrell won't even hit. Wait, even John Legend doesn't hit harder. No, no, they do. But like sometimes you could switch it up a little bit. Country's not that far off, bro. No, it's horrible. Okay, all right, all right. That's horrible. Give me the next one, bro. Bo Jackson was one of the most overrated athletes of all time. Three, two, one. Disagree. Agree. You're crazy as hell. Bo? Bo Jackson has Bo like knows. Bro, he has like like yards and like in like career touchdowns he probably has like 15. He's still better than you. I could get 15. No, 15, but it's, it's different though. Bro, you want me to, let me let me read you all Bo Jackson you stats. Watch, you ever watch Bo Jackson uh highlight reel, bro? Bro, that's why he's overrated, bro. But he also played baseball and he was nice at it. I'll give him that. Jordan but, played baseball, and he was fucking mid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but as a football player, Bro, he's freaking mid. He's nice. Bro, he he has career 2,782 yards. That's tough. All in one 16 team. touchdowns all in one four team. years. In four years. He never had one he year. He got hurt. Nah, he played seven. He played 10, 11, 10. Well, tell him to get better, bro. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, he might be overrated. He bro. overrated as hell. Like, yeah, what? Played, I didn't why know. Why the fuck does he have a 99 overall player every year? Because of the baseball thing. He was the first person to be like, right, I'm going to switch sports. I'm OD nice. Nah, that's crazy. He must uh, be ass. That's what I'm saying. He, <laughs> like, you didn't think, yo, it was that bad. I didn't think it was that bad. Bro. Me neither, bro. I'm like, no, he like, only. That's actually like, there's niggas. They get that in like, one year. In two years, bro. There's niggas who do that, like double that in like the same time and aren't even like Hall of Fame. Bro, is he? he's not in the Hall of Fame, is he? Come on, bro. Yeah, he's in the Hall of he's Fame. He's in the Football Hall of Fame? He's not in the Football Hall of Fame, bro. Come on, Bojarius Jackson? Yeah. No, he's not. Bojarius? Just saying, no, that's not his name, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Bo not, Jackson. Man, he, there's too, and, too much neck around him. Jack, Jackson will be inducted. In, oh, no, no, no. He's in the Hall of Fame for baseball. Okay. He's not in the Hall of Fame for, for football? No, 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 no. So why does he get these crazy cards in Madden? Bro, because of the baseball, bro. He carries them too much, bro. He's in the Hall of Fame for baseball? Or I think he's getting in, inducted. In June, uh, June 29th, he's getting oh, into the, the, the Royals, Kansas City Royals Hall of Fame. Oh, well, he's never gonna go for football. Though. Hell no, bro. He only has two, he only have 3,000 yards. He has a ring, though. Does he really? I think so. He mm-hmm. got to. There's no reason for him to get meat roasted. Let's see, let's see. Does Bo Jackson have a Super Bowl ring? He did not win any championships. Yo. That's what I'm saying, bro. He's so overrated. This nigga made one Pro Bowl. I don't know for what. He only had. He didn't even have a thousand yards. He had 960 yards, bro. 960 yards, bro. You telling me? That's a damn shame. Bo Jackson, do he better. Never had a thousand yard season, bro. No, bro. And they they gas him up on Madden. They gas him up everywhere. They got Bo Jackson jersey. He was he was yo freaking. What's his name was better? Than, Devin Singletary was better than that guy. <laughs> yeah, you're not what? lying. You're not saying something wrong. Same, bro. Look at the stats, bro. Numbers don't lie, bro. Numbers do not lie. But all right, let's go. Let's go. I got some other topics we could talk about, bro. Cause I've been looking. Crazy. I've been looking at some. Uh, I've been watching on TikTok lately. I've been seeing some Joe Rogan podcasts. Oh, hold on. Hey, Lib, Libby, my camera's good. Mm-hmm. All right, just making sure. Cause I forgot to freaking. Click. Delete some, delete some of the videos on that oh, one. So if it croaks, you're, I'm you're just waiting for it. So let me just take a, just click a, keep an eye on this one. Thanks, Lib. Right, so let me make sure I put that, put the mark down for when I can clip that part out. Uh, thirty, thirty eight forty six. All right. So, all right, time. So I don't know. So the last part I think we was on, we was talking. I think we was talking about aliens, right? So now I got some new information about aliens that is kind of cool to talk about, and it kind of makes sense. So I was watching, I was look, I was looking at a Joe Rogan podcast, and there was a there was um you ever heard of Tucker, Tucker Carlson? Yes, I heard their name. That was the guy who went to uh freaking Gaza, I think, or he went to Russia to speak to Putin. He was okay. supposed to have an interview. Yeah. 
So he, he was on Joe Rogan podcast and he said something pretty interesting. He said, he said, so basically aliens are really demons. So I'm, I never thought of like this, this way. So it makes, it kind of makes sense. So he's basically saying that, cause you know, me and you are both, we're getting both spiritual people. I've been going to church a lot lately. So he's basically saying that aliens are not like from outer space, but they're really demons sent from the devil and stuff like that. Okay. And even Kevin, uh, not Kevin, uh, Ryan Garcia was even talking about how he thinks that aliens are like demons at the same time. And they're just like here to like make us choose the wrong side. So okay. now I have, I have some things that, you know, kind of correlate to that because so I, you know, looking into the Bible, they always talk about, it's always a battle between God and his angels right. and then the devil and his demons. And basically the devil was used to be, the devil used to be an angel got sent down from God, but he took some angels with him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So now I'm starting to look at it as like, you know, maybe, maybe this is kind of true because you got to look at it. The, the devil is always just trying to make your life terrible, mm -hmm. right? They always put negativity in your life, mm -hmm. always making bad things happen to you, but you always have God to look at you to help you through it. Right. So now I remember I was, I don't know if I was talking to you before about yeah. like how earth was like a prison planet or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the aliens are here to harvest our souls and they're so, just, yeah. just to, and the, and to harvest our souls, to have our souls as pure as they have to make the world around us a terrible place. Right. So that's why there's wars. That's why there's a lot of bad things happens. Diseases is because they're influencing out to, to put doubt in people's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Get so, yeah, yeah. So if that, if that theory goes along with the, with the evil, like with the devil and stuff, it kind of lines up. And then I was thinking also about like how people in Hollywood, they say like a lot of people in Hollywood, they sell their souls and their devil worshipers and stuff yeah, like that. But they also say that they're also, people want to say they're reptilians or aliens or something like that, that are like, you know, with the Illuminati, if there's Illuminati, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but they also like cor correlate with each other. And then what else did I say? I said it was, um, and it was like, yeah, it's like always the people that, is like higher up and like all the Hollywood people, they always either associate with the devil, like they sold their soul or that they're with like aliens and they're really just controlling the media just so they, whatever. So they're becoming the people who are like the biggest influencers. So like we look up to them and so we, we follow them. They're which become, Oh, the, and that kind of makes sense with like, you know how Lil Uzi and his whole devil persona. Yeah. 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 And all that shit. So yeah. you never, and it's like, I don't believe in the whole reptilian thing where there's like shapeshifters around, but people, there's, uh, there's people that really do believe because, you know, they'd be seeing like those videos, like Beyonce shapeshifted into like a freaking yeah, lizard. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I don't know if that's real or not, but it could be real. Too, but but yeah. it's like, imagine, right? It's like, people say like demons walk amongst us, but imagine aliens are just demons with like bodies as a way to like, you know, maybe not like co-mingle because i know people say they see infiltrate really yeah, infiltrate because you know like we've been doing all the ghost stuff right yeah, yeah, yeah. so a lot of times like i'll be watching ghost videos they be seeing there's demons but they don't have like they don't have a form they just have shadows and stuff so mm -hmm. maybe there's some t kinds of demons that take form and are look like these type of little devil looking aliens because even in the bible they talk about reptil well, not reptilian they talk about serpents a lot right so they talk about serpents and snakes and reptiles are evil and then what do most aliens look like they mostly look like like reptiles and like green little right. things. So I don't know. I liked, I like how he was talking about it, like how the whole theory about it was that it could be demons because it's like, it makes it more of though, like when you talk about the Bible and stuff, because it's always battle between good and evil. Right. So maybe these aliens, if maybe these aliens are just as evil, but it's like, it's not like, um, what's the word I'm trying to think about? It's not like we think that aliens, Malicious? probably they're evil, but not like trying to, it's evil in a way where they don't seem evil, but they're like manipulated, manipulative. Okay, there you go. Okay. Because even the, isn't don't they? Isn't saying the Bible the devil is really manipulative? Yeah. So yeah, imagine yeah, these yeah. aliens. Because imagine these aliens doing the same thing. They come down. One day they'll come down and try to manipulate. Yeah. And try to be like, oh, buddy, buddy. buddy. Yeah. But really, on the inside, they're just doing some weird stuff. Which I don't know. I just thought it was pretty interesting to talk about it. And I also heard somebody say that aliens were freaking people from the future coming back to the past. Which I don't know about that. Spe Speaking of the past, yeah, got some heat. What you got with so, the past, bro? So this kind of goes with everybody talks about aliens building pyramids. Yeah, let me tell you why I don't think aliens built the pyramids. The aliens didn't build the pyramids. This is why I don't feel like aliens built the pyramids, right? So yeah. I was I was watching this video, whatever the case is, right? Yeah. So I thought of the word they they're talking about the word dinosaur, right? Yeah. So the word dinosaur is derived from 
two words, right? Mm-hmm. The Greek word Danos and the Greek word Saros, right? Yeah, yeah. Danos means terrible and Saros means lizard. Mm-hmm. Now, the Greek language was developed 5,000 years ago. Mm-hmm. But dinosaurs would have went extinct 100 million years ago. So they didn't really... Oh, and, that, wait. and the word dinosaur was already developed before the Greek language. But it's a Greek word. It's made out of the two Greek words. Get you, get you. So, soak that in. Mm-hmm. Now, to follow up with that, right? Now, going to the pyramids. Mm-hmm. If either one, two things have, one of the two things have to be true. Mm-hmm. Either dinosaurs were around 5,000 years ago. Mm-hmm. Oh. Or the reverse. We had Greek people. Back then. Ar- around, or the l- Greek language around back then. Like hundred millions of years yes, ago. Yes, which we always talk about how the ancient pyramids, the ancient Egyptians, yeah. the people who built, like, they were very intelligent and they had a whole bunch of technology that we didn't know about, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's more likely because we know 5,000 years ago there weren't no dinosaurs because yeah, yeah. we don't see no bones and stuff. And also because, like, I know what you're saying because it's like, where did they come, how you come up with a name if you didn't know what they were at exactly. that point? Exactly. How okay. you couldn't do that. Exactly. So oh. now, now put it together. Now they're talking about Ancient Egypt, right? Which uh-huh. was also hundred million. Like the pyramids were built like ten thousand years, like ten hundred thousand years ago, whatever, right? Yeah, yeah. You put that. How did they move those big rocks and stuff like that? You think dinosaurs moved them? How else? If you have a fifty foot lizard with giant muscles, yeah. How else are you gonna move a big rock through the desert? That is true that's because they. Way, that's one way to move it. That is kind of true they, because they didn't. They didn't build the rocks there. They built it in another place and brought it over. They built the rocks like. Size of countries away, hundreds, hundreds of thousands of miles away. They cut the stones there. Think about it. You have to transport those rocks super far. Yeah. If you figure out a way to tame a, a, a Tyrannosaurus Rex or what are those big ones with that eat Terra- trees? Oh, the uh, Brontosaurus? Yeah, those big ones. Yeah. They can if like, you figure out a way to train those, you can put the rocks on their back or whatever. Or like have and them they drag can lift it. it. And they could either drag it or they can have it on top, whatever. Bring it there. And then to get it, once it's there, you can have them push it. Wow. Move it up. That's another way how they could have been made. That's kind of crazy because all they, they have to do is make the stones in one spot. And they can, if there's, if you're making it on the movie, it's different. But if you're making it right there in one spot and then yeah. you have something transported, yeah, yeah. that's the only correlation. And that would wow. explain explain a lot of stuff like the Sphinx, those big things. Like, how were they able to get up there and get down? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. If they're able to somehow tame those, like, passive animals. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So, it just it just makes sense. I get what you mean. Because, you know, you know what I was, I'm glad you was talking about that. Because, you know, there's a lot of pictures of, like, ancient, like, China and ancient, like, mm-hmm. Asia. And they have, like, dinosaurs in the background, like, in the paintings. And they're, like, carrying, like... Shit, yeah. Carrying stuff, and they're like, you know, like you know how there's like trolleys and stuff. Yeah, there's yeah. like trolleys, but with dinosaurs, and they're like, and nobody ever noticed it. Until like, some... Yeah, what does it mean? Yeah, and like I think recently, I think they kind of proven that dragons were real at one point because they found like some dragon bones, and they said like the the like some dinosaurs might be dragons because you know like dragon wings are like bird wings, like you don't really see it. It just yeah, de- see, decompose. Yeah. It could be like cartilage. Cartilage would decompose. Mm-hmm. You just see like a little like, and they're saying like. Like a T Rex might just be a dragon, because they have the short arms, right? Ah, uh, but that doesn't make sense. What's the point of the short arms? But mm-hmm. just the arms for the bone structure, right? For yeah. the wings to be able to move, and then it being a lo- really large wing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the rest of the wing will decompose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they used to fly. That makes a lot of the sense. The breathing though. fire part, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, yeah. The other part, yeah. That's that's why it makes sense. Cause like. I be I be realizing like there's a lot of points in history where it's kind of like messed up. Yeah. Because at at some point it's like you know we always talk about like like you're saying with the pyramids, we can't build that right now, and we're we supposedly can. advanced, yeah, more advanced than back then. But we can't even yeah, do, we that. Can't do that. And I've heard that they found another pyramid in um I forgot where it's like a country in like in Europe. It's a giant pyramid and it was covered in grass. Like it looks like a mountain. But it's like the biggest pyramid in the world now. Oh, my God. But, like, they didn't know it was a pyramid. They was looking at it. Like, a scientist walked over. They was like, hold on. This looks kind of weird. And they looked at it from above, and you see the four corners. Uh, they just thought it was a mountain but because it, it was there was grass on it. But then they looked at it. It was like, nah, this is an actual pyramid. It was just under. It's just overgrown. pyramids all over the world. Yeah. The only explanation would be besides aliens is a dinosaur helping build, like, dragging those big. They weigh multiple tons. That is kind of true. There's no way. I don't care if you have... A hundred people pulling at the same time yeah. for you to be able to consistently. Nah, that's OD. That is that. I like. I 
I like how I like that theory with the dinosaurs, but I still think I think they had better technology to move. I it. still think they had better technology. But, but I do think dinosaurs were a little bit more were around a lot earlier than we think. I don't think they died a hundred million years ago. I think we were around while the dinosaurs were around. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think now here's the second part of it. Yeah. Hear me out. I think the pyramids were also in place for when the meteor hit or any natural disaster. Yeah. People were able to stay in there to survive because when the meteor hit, mm-hmm. it killed all the dinosaurs. Yeah. Why didn't the humans die? If there were humans around back then, they say they weren't because there's nowhere to stay. Yeah. But if it hit and it killed all the animals and stuff like that, mm-hmm. humans would have to find somewhere refuge. That'd be like a bunker. Yeah. The pyramids have the pair all pyramids like whether it's in Antarctica, Mexico, Egypt. Yeah. yeah. Europe, they've sustained every natural disaster. Yeah, yeah, they never fell. So, and they have tombs in them. They have rooms. There are rooms in the pyramids and shit. Yeah, yeah. It would make sense for that to store humans so we can survive. Ah, like there were some humans that lived. That stayed in there, stayed in there when meteor hit. Whatever killed, whatever killed the dinosaurs, humans stayed in the pyramids. Ooh, that kind of, that kind of is kind of hard. And we were around while dinosaurs were around and we knew how to tame them. That's why our technology was even better. You know, I'm you just know, saying it hit different. That's kind of tough. You know what's another thing I think? All right, so th- I doubt this is true, but I remember, so say, so say the, say the meteor, when the meteor came, what, maybe like two, 200, 100 million years ago, yeah. it did hit, killed all the dinosaurs, right? And mm-hmm. imagine there were humans, right? Imagine, right? There were some humans that went underground, mm-hmm. right? So now think about it. It's 100 million years ago. So that means that's all them years of adaptation mm-hmm. and like, you know, adapting to your environment. So imagine, because I looked at, like, if you look at Neanderthals before, like, like that before us, that we had bigger jaws and bigger heads and like bigger foreheads because we had to like, and we had more teeth because we yeah. was actually chewing like yeah, uncooked massive. food. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. now people think that like, imagine, right? Mm-hmm. So supposedly like if they lived underground, imagine like those humans turn into like these little like aliens that we see because mm-hmm. now they have to, they're not, they don't have sunlight. So now they get pale. They're under, they're underground. So maybe their eyes have to get bigger so they can see things in the dark. And then maybe I don't know. Maybe it's true. You have to le- let in more light. Yeah. And you then maybe less in. less oxygen down there. They're not as big. Yeah. And they maybe that's turn colors. Yeah. Exactly. Because you don't know how. That's because, why the skin turned pale. Oh my god. So maybe that's yeah. where the aliens were just here for a hundred million years ago, and they were just hiding on the ground. Because yeah, a lot of people think the aliens live on the ground. Yeah, that's a big. That's a big. Yeah. Remember we were talking about it on one of the pods, like in Alaska, like the big hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe they're just in the ground, and they're just they've been hiding. They, they was hiding. And they're coming out, but they're slowly trying to. They probably they probably talk to like our higher up governments because they don't want to just like go into it because they're the fir- they're technically the first humans. Yeah. But but like if they come out like all at once, it's gonna be like a like a like a mass scare and stuff. So they're probably just gonna I told you like integrate it here and there. That's why you see a lot more on the on the news now. Like before, you never see no UFOs on the news like in like the early. Now 2000s. they're like yeah, now that's your real. Yeah, right, that's yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's crazy. I, that's what I think. That's that would be you're some crazy stuff, force, bro. I'm not telling you. Hey, bro, I'm joined. Hey, I forgot. I think somebody was joined. I think somebody's parents is on this face force. I forgot who it was. Should but be you, bro. nah, one day. <laughs> that's like, no. This man, you know, I see, you know, I seen today. I seen Dre brother, Tay. No, no, his older brother, at the oh, barbershop. Oh, Duran. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, which barbershop? Uh, right? Russ. I have Russ, that shit. Yeah, he t- he gets his haircut by he the cuts dude. Russ too, or Russ cuts him. No, or no, the, the the dude next to Russ to the left. Oh, you saw him? That's crazy. Yeah. I seen him in a minute. He's like, yeah. it was good, D. I was like, oh, what's up, bro? I didn't think you remember my name. Yeah, I was, yeah, I was gonna say. I was like, yeah, dang, bro. And he was telling me about Dre, like he's in the freaking like National Guard and stuff. Yeah, he's but, military guy. You know? Yeah, bro. I'm not doing that. Sorry. Thank you though. Good, yeah, <laughs> nah. But oh, so now I'm glad we was, we was talking about time travel now. Mm-hmm. So. There's this thing that's going on around TikTok that some guy caught footage of a real life time travel and it's in like 4K. <laughs> like it's weird. I don't nah, know. Nah, no way. Bro, wait, wait, wait. all right. So I'm going to show you this after the pod. I don't have the video on me, yeah. but I'm probably going to put it up like as we're talking about it. So there was a guy, right? So he has a, he has a, you know, I have a camera outside my house. He has yeah. those little uh, ring cameras or whatever, yeah. but he has one in the front and the back. Yeah. And I think, I forgot where he lives in. So he was talking about, there was a guy that ju- like came into his crib, like jumped over the fence and was walking into his crib. And then he's talking to him on the camera. He's like, yo, like get out of my house. And the guy just looked up and he just kept walking. And now he's, he's watching the guy and he's calling the cops. He's like, yo, there's somebody in my backyard. I think he's trying to rob me. And he's like an older man. He's probably like maybe in his like forties or something like that. But he don't look like a threat. Like, he's an older, skinny he's dude. Just, yeah. White guy, whatever. So he goes in the backyard. He's just walking around the backyard, pacing around the backyard. And the guy's calling the cops as he's doing this. He's like, yo, I'm calling the cops. You better leave my house. And then what, the, the guy has, like, a little shed in his backyard. So the guy goes into the shed, right? And then yeah. the cops come. 
And when the cops come, they're like, they're like, oh yeah, he's in the shed. Like he just walked into the shed. And there's there's video proof of the guy walking into the shed. And then the cops, the cops walked into the shed, and he was not in there. I swear on everything I love. I'm like, I'm like, and I'm no, I don't know if he's faking this, but I don't no. think he's faking this because he's making multiple videos, and a lot of people are looking into it. But then it gets even crazier, right? So now you can see the cops. Yeah. The cops are looking in it and they're like, yo, there's nobody here. Like, I don't know what, like, there's nobody in the shed. Then a couple, I think maybe like maybe a couple minutes later or like a couple hours later, somebody comes out of that shed and it was an older guy. Same, like. Or, it looks like, I mean, it but looks. like similar skin complexion. To similar skin complexion to the guy, but he's way older, like maybe 20, 30 years older. And he walks out and he looks at the camera as he's walking out and he never sees him again. So he's like, wait. Who did, where, like where did this guy come out of the the shed? And then now there's people that's like looking into it. So some guy on TikTok, he um, you know how you can like facial recognition? That's sweet. Yeah. So he did a facial recognition on the last guy that came out, like the older guy that came out, and he traced it back to this older gentleman who went to Harvard, but he was really obsessed with time travel. Oh no way! Like he had a big obsession with no time way. travel. No way! And it's like, where's the like? This is like the craziest, biggest no like way. coincidence. And it's like, I don't, I don't know if he was a professor or if he was a student, but like, I know he went to Harvard, but the crazy thing is he died in 2018. And it was like, there was like posts about it, like his family, like 2017, but he made posts like on Twitter talking about, um, uh, time travel, this and like how it will work. And I remember somebody went on Joe Rogan saying like, it's possible to have a time machine. You just need something that's able to go through like, um, either fast enough to go through like the speed of time or whatever like that. Like you, like it's possible to have a time machine. So he's thinking maybe that guy, like he was a time traveler. And bro, I watched like he, like bro, he was an accountant before this. Like I looked at his Instagram, like his a uh, TikTok account. He was an accountant. Like he just posted like accounting stuff. Wow. And then there's just one random video. It's like yo, I just caught a time traveler. And now he's just making straight time travel videos. So he's not even a damn. So he's not even into the stuff that we talk about. Like he's not doing the shit like that. Like he's you don't not like. Trying, yeah, he don't care. And then now he's like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the, what. Bro, it's OD. You gotta check his shed, bro. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, how the hell? Because it's like, okay, I understand. They're, people are trying to say that the cops were fake, but I'm like, who's like, who in their right mind is doing all this work? Nah, it's kind of max. Like for just for a random video, like for a random short if you, video, like we're just posting accounting shit, and then you walk in. Now you're like, fuck it, let's just do one. Yeah, let's just do one of a time travel. Like, who thinks of that? But there's I'm, no gain from it. There's no gain. But it's like, and it's also, it's like. You could, like, why you, like, you have to really think about it. And it's like, nobody's doing that much work to get, like, maybe 10, maybe 10, 12 days of fame, bro. I really think there's a time travel. Because I feel like there's, bro, you never know. There's probably time travels that walk amongst us every day, bro. If you, if, so if somebody said to you, like, there's a, like, I got a time travel device. It's been tested once. Yeah. And it worked, but, or we think it worked, but we haven't seen the guy who did it. Yeah. You want to try it? Would I try it? Yeah. Um, nah, I want to try. They're like, yeah, John Smith went in and he disappeared. The machine went off, but we, I mean, he never came back because. Nah, I want to try it, bro. They're like, oh, we, like it was supposed to send him forward five years. But like, because like, you know, when you watch like the Avengers movies, like five years to them could be like 10 seconds to us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you. So yeah, he you might be don't. in there a million years ahead of time, but it's been like, but they probably just lost him. I oh, you mean like oh, like he went in, and, and he, he they thought he went forward five years, but he's went really forward like a million. Yeah, because like he still hasn't come back yet. But like I don't, I don't know. I don't, yo, I wouldn't. You wouldn't do it though. Hell no. You I, would do it. It depends how old I am. If I'm like forty, nah, forty-seven. Forty-seven. <laughs> my 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 son or daughter got to be at least eighteen or nineteen. At eighteen and nineteen, they got to be an adult. For before you go into before, the space time continuum, I risk. Dying <laughs> before yeah. you do all this work, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cause I'll, I'll do it just because, like, if I get to see it now, I know, like, yo, time travel is real. Like, but now I, I want to go back in time, though. You want to go back in time, not forward. I mean, if you had to, if you had to do one, you're going back or forward. I'd rather go forward because I feel like if I go back, I'm gonna mess some stuff up. No, but you know, everything is gonna happen. You go, if I go back, even if it's one year, I'm rich. <laughs> oh, you're just gonna put hella parlays? I'm rich. You go Yo, put first. I'll put in one parlay, just one. Feel me? One good one, right? But along with me putting in a good parlay, I also know like for my classes, I know everything to do. Uh huh. Ba I'm hooping at 
But like you gotta remember, I know what what moves about to do. You know, but what you saying? remember, you gotta remember, there's another you. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what I'm thinking. I, I don't think time travel. Yeah, you don't take over that body. Yeah, it's like you just. I'm not gonna lie. Would you kill your if you went back? Would you kill your? <laughs> your I'll murder myself. I just really. You get to live your life. <laughs> oh no! I think I'm like. Kill- you you're gonna murder yourself. <laughs> that's wild. That's some crazy shit, bro. How you go? No. All right, I got another question. My wait, 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 wait. Going okay. the rabbit hole. Wait, wait, wait. What year am I going back to? You're going back to. I mean, honestly, the easiest year. Well, I have to go back to 2018. But like, think about it. you. Don't look like yourself in 2018. So now you're cooked. Like, think about it, Ty. Why you get ock? Like, like why you why you cut your you hair? Got hair and shit. Yeah. Like, you got a beard. Like, like go. You could dunk. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why you know how to do a hook shot? Like, like what the hell are you doing? I don't know. Say you go back to 20. Damn, 2018. Like I can't pull that off. Now nah, maybe you go I go back. You just you shave up. This is what's gonna have to happen. If like if I if if I do plan to murder myself in yeah, the past, like, how would you murder yourself? If you have to this is what I'm gonna do. Time. So there's gonna be a trip, right? I'm gonna go back in time where we. Nah, I don't want. I don't want to have. I don't want to have Jay stressing. Yeah. Because then I was gonna say go back in time in 2019 where me and my boys went on a Florida trip. I'm gonna kidnap myself. And then I'm gonna come back like, yo, I just escaped this, that, and the third. But like, I come back, Jay might have another boyfriend, and now I'm cooked. Nah, damn. Now I'm cooked. Now I'm cooked. Now nah, you gotta come back within like, if you come back within a week, you're good. No, nah, but that's not cool though. But because like, I'm a week, be, you're Gucci. Because I'm bigger. She's gonna be crying for a week. Because I'm bigger, I have to be. It has to be at least minimum. It has to be minimum like a month. Like she might. And this, this is when we first started talking. She, she be like, man, like, eh, like, dang, like, sorry for his loss, but like, he done up, like. <laughs> He <laughs> done up. I'll probably, I probably have to go. I probably get to cut my hair. Yeah, I will probably just do the same thing, bro. Just like the like the early like the latest I have, I'll go back is probably like like twenty twenty one maybe. That's when we went to Cali, and I'm nah, gonna go kill myself back in, in twenty nineteen, bro. They're nah, you back there's no way I could pull it off, bro. You know, I'm, my my whole life is gonna be get worse. You don't think you could? I think you could kill yourself and then just shave your hair and then wear big hoodies and shit. For like two weeks, just two weeks. So niggas can be like, you "Look kind of big in that hoodie." Oh, and then in practice is, when did you get so big? I've always been. This I ain't gonna lie, I'll go crazy. That's wait, was that what was that with the that's twenty nineteen. That's what twenty nineteen. That's, that's yeah, CB. CB's at, it was CB year. Oh, I'm going yeah, stupid. Go stupid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm going stupid. Go stupid. I'm not gonna. I if I went back, I think I just. I don't know where I kill myself at. <laughs> Walking back to the dorms at, at the dome, like, like that's the only thing you could do, like just, like just kidnap yourself. No, but you have to be clean with it. That's what I'm saying. Like, because if somebody sees you kidnapping yourself, you're done. But so, like, you can't even like just jab yourself in the neck. Exactly, because that, that's mad. That's mad hot. Because you kill somebody, like, oh, he killed him. Exactly. And then if somebody finds the body, they're like, oh, you came back to life, like you resurrected. You're going that's, to jail. Exactly, it's wild. That's what I'm saying. You gotta be. It's gotta be cop where it's like you're in like a. Nah, I wait in my room. What you mean? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna um, go in your room and just. I'm gonna wait in my room, like under my bed or something. Oh. Wait and for gonna... me to go to sleep. And murk. Or in my basement when I'm playing a game. Wait for me to go to sleep. <laughs> or wait for me. I'm playing a game locked in. Just come and just snap my neck. Wow. You know what's crazy? What is nice? No, no, that's 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 a good idea because like and you're then, hidden. Yeah, and then like it's the middle of the night. Yeah, nobody's not gonna really peep. Ah, damn, my cameras. I'll turn the cameras off, but like, I just put my body in a backpack and shit, my own backpacks. Yeah, and just, but like, where you got, now you got to dispose the body. Now, where are you going to put that body at? I mean, the tweak on the face, make my face get tweaked up so you can't recognize who it was. But honestly, you just got to throw it in the ocean. I'm going to just take a drive to like North Carolina or Florida, somewhere down there, dump the body. I'm going to go to Week Wake. And then I'm a, I'm gonna get like a brick, a cinder block, and throw it in the lake. And like so it sinks. Yeah, so it sinks to the bottom. And then now you're you're there. Damn. That's the thing because now you're not because it's not really it's you're murdering yourself. So nah, it's like I feel bad though. Like <laughs> imagine you're like ah ah you're getting stabbed like you just like <laughs> stabbing yourself. Imagine the pain you'd go through right now if somebody you walked into your room you just get snatched up and stabbed to death. <laughs> imagine you'd feel sad as shit. You'd be imagine like, no our- please why and you see. Why, why am I killing me? Imagine the future is a terrible place and like our future selves are waiting. 
or no, no, they they went back in time to try to fix it, and they had to kill us, like how Rick and Morty did. Like remember Rick and Morty, they destroyed yeah. one world, so they went to another one where they died, and they just replaced themselves. Yeah. Imagine that. Imagine a doppelganger of you was waiting for you in your house right now to do the same plan you just did, <laughs> like from five years ago, five years in the future, bro. Life would be lit if I went back in time, though. That would be lit. I'll be able to. Yeah, I'll be able to do everything. Damn. That's crazy work, bro. That's a crazy. That's a crazy analogy. We're gonna freaking kill ourselves. Because <laughs> honestly, if you if you dump the body, you're gonna be you're gonna be in place of yourself. I'm gonna dump it in like Philly or something. Exactly. So they're not gonna find. They're not. If they're, they're not gonna look if they're not trying to find. But you can't let it be your face because then they'll be like, "Where's Tyrone?" I'm like, "I'm right here." Exactly. But like, even if they can still like find out who the body is with like DNA and shit. But like, yeah. but like, if they're not looking for no, you, but like they gotta match DNA. So if you dump it in Philly. They're not gonna have your DNA to match it. Ah, uh, so that's why it's like they gotta ID the person. That'd be crazy. They find your body and be like, "Wait, what happened?" Now they realize you're. That's gonna happen one day. I can't wait. That'll be freaking wild. <laughs> one day, I hope time travel. I hope time. I hope we figure out time travel before aliens come. Damn. But since we're talking about time travel, bro, I have a special game that we can play for you, my brother. All right. It is called Build. So hold on. Let me let me get the the yeah. sheet out real quick. So, you are being sent back in time to free our people. Okay. So, build your lineup for f- with $15. All right? Okay. So, I have certain different categories, and I'm going to tell you how much you have at the end. So, your weapon of choice, an assault rifle for $5, an assault rifle for $4 a sword, $3 a bow and arrow, $2 a paintball gun, and $1 brass knuckles. Wait, this is going back to... Right before they about to head on the boat. So we're in Africa or the Caribbean? One yeah. Or two, whatever. Yeah. And well, they're about to get on the boat. Yeah, about to get on the boat. What was the $5? Uh, an assault rifle. Or I'll let you pick. You can either be on the, either go back on the boat or in like the south. Nah, give me, give me back on the boat. Yeah, okay. So you're in Africa. So you're in Africa. So Five. assault rifle. Sword. Yeah. No, bow and arrow was four, right? Bow and arrow was third for three dollars. Sword was two. Was four. Four dollars. Yep. Just the sword. Just the sword. Yeah, like that's the sell. Uh, I gotta go gun, bro. Five. Fuck it. Damn. Five dollars for an assault it's, rifle. Yeah, All right. Really, now you got ten dollars. Damn, that's really. I needed that gun though. All right. Now your person of choice, your partner to accompany you on this mission to free our people. Damn. For five dollars, Luke Cage. For four dollars, Muhammad Ali. For three dollars, Harriet Tubman. For two dollars, Obama, and for one dollar, Beyonce. <laughs> it hit different if I say Beyonce. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you can work with that. Luke Cage is the only good answer. You said Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. He can fight, but it's like I need him to be tech. shoot and be. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that nigga cocky. And I'm already 6'8". He's like 6'3". Yeah. So that's like easy uh, targets. Too many big niggas. But like think about it. They don't got no guns back then. But yeah. But you, you just got it. You're fighting the British Army. <laughs> yeah, but like he don't... I don't know if he's just... Beyonce, just like... So while I'm like out fighting crime. Yeah. Saving the day. When I come back, I got Beyonce. <laughs> and she know how to sing like... Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, she's, so she's, she's there for moral support. Moral support, bro. Okay. All one, right. One bean, bro. Okay. One dollar. So now you have... Luke Cage would have been it, but... Nah, one <laughs> you have nine dollars left. Choose your vehicle for five dollars a monster truck, four dollars a the mystery van from Scooby Doo, three dollars a motorized scooter, two dollars a bike, or one dollar the the big tyke bikes with the big wheel, big wheel bikes. <laughs> uh Gim what's three? Three is a motorized scooter. Give me the van. The mystery van? <laughs> Four beans. Mystery van. That's cool. That's not bad because they didn't have cars back then. So I either. can have Beyonce drive this shit. Uh-huh. And I'll sit in the back like. Oh, with the with the gun out? Like. Mow them down. Kinda. All right. All right. And then also the van, I could start. Yo, everybody get in. Ah, so you can put, pack more people in the van. I'm saying. I'm calm. All right. All right. All right. Shit, shit. So now you have $5 left. There's two, two categories. Yeah. So it is. So it's items now. Okay. So for five dollars, a thousand dollars, 
You go back there with, with a thousand dollars. Oh, that carry heavy because that's like a mill. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> you could buy them all back. Yeah, I could buy them all. <laughs> For four dollars, an iPhone, three dollars, fake jewelry. A, like uh, I'll give you ten pounds of fake jewelry. No, 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 two pounds of fake jewelry. Okay. For two dollars, endless supply of Nyquil, or one dollar a Rubik's cube. <laughs> NyQuil though Comp Because Medicine <laughs> Yes But you're gonna go to sleep Like you're gonna knock You can, you can really You can really cook I up can, I can heal some people though I be getting sick So I, NyQuil me Two dollars NyQuil Okay two dollars NyQuil yeah. Alright so so far You have five That's ten dollars One two, nine I have three left You have three dollars left Yeah Let me make sure Let me make sure So it's five One that's six Four That's ten and then you said NyQuil 2. All right, so yeah, you got $3. So how long you have to do this? So how long that this is how long you have to do this or you will die. For $5, well, you can't get anyways, is one year. For $4, six months. $5 is one year? Yep. God. $4 is six months. For $3 is three months. For $2 is one month. And for $1 is one week. Use all three beans, bro. So for three months? Three months, easy time. So I'm going to take two weeks to plan it. Mm-hmm. And then we're good from there. Okay, okay. So you have, so you're going to go back in time to free our people with an assault rifle, Beyonce, the mystery van, a infinite amount of NyQuil, and you have three months to do it. That's pretty comp. I'm not going to lie. But I feel like you're not thinking how I'm thinking. What you With Beyonce, you can use that to distract no, no, they're gonna take Beyonce. They're gonna just take. Her. They're <laughs> gonna take her and are her, bro. This is mad. They're gonna take Beyonce and now. She's like, yeah. It's, it's, now that's good for moral support. Now I couldn't spend. I couldn't spend another five. I know that would be spend crazy. Spend another five. I was cooked for us. Like <laughs> that I was could, a while. I couldn't, I couldn't do it couldn't with do the Nyquil. You go stupid because you could put that in the guards' drinks. Yeah, but you, for them to just knock, you need to like. You got an endless supply. And you could just go stupid with yeah, that. Yeah, but you're gonna have to like pour the whole bottle for them to like croak. I mean, you, you just need them to go sleep. Yeah, and then you can sneak them out. Low key, if, if you get, got Harriet, if they get yeah, get them drowsy and they'll fall asleep. Low key, if you would have had Harriet Tubman, she could have like infiltrated like a spy, and would have done that. I don't even. <laughs> I don't even think. Yeah, I, I want to hate, but I don't even think she was that od. Like, you don't think she, <laughs> like I don't think she was a spy for her. I think you don't she, think she like, was like comp. I think she was like just was like had IQ, just had enough IQ to like, all right, I'm not gonna run while the guard is there, and I just know where to go. I oh, like she like you. <laughs> I don't think she was like super tech, where she was like a you know like like out here like, like diving out the way and like fighting off guards. Yeah, and so like go she, go. Yeah, I got him. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I don't think she was doing it. I know she saved like a thousand people though. She saved mad people. Yeah. Shout out to her though. You know she was alive in 1900s. I know. Yeah, I heard about that. Then she died like. When I think she was able to watch like Star Wars or something, she was here for 9 11. Say, no, I'm joking. No, no, um, the, the freaking Rosa Parks was able to watch Shrek. What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Time is really well, that makes sense because Martin Luther King died early. That's what I'm saying. That's why I'd be thinking, like, dang, that shit wasn't that long ago. But Harry Tubman is crazy. Yeah, that one is crazy. I heard Picasso was alive. Picasso during... was alive in 2010. Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought Picasso was like, yeah, I thought he was like. Old geezer yeah, like Van like, Gogh. Yeah, I thought he was one of them guys. Yeah, because we was learning about him who in 2010, cares? bro. Yeah, who cares about art now? Like, exactly. Like we, bro, we used to learn about Picasso when we was kids. We thinking like, yeah, this is history, history. Yeah, Picasso got it. Like, no, nah, that's man. wild. You think the freaking um they're gonna put in the history books about COVID? Yeah, for sure. You think so? Like it's gonna be like American COVID. history. Book. Oh, actually, every history book. Like you think it's gonna be equivalent to like how like they put like 9/11 in our books, and we learned about that? Equivalent to like the bubonic plague. Ah, uh, got you. Yeah, shut down the world. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, y'all kids would never understand, bro. Some of y'all, y'all, some of y'all was born. I mean, y'all can't be watching this. Never mind. You know what niggas were talking about? I was watching a meme. It was like, life in 20, like, we got out of high school at the right time. <laughs> yeah. Because 2018, 2019. Yeah. Was actually pretty good years. Yeah, that was a good year, bro. It was actually, like, those two years were actually really great. Like, college. Every, everything. Think about. Oh my. 2019 God. might what might have been like the one of my the best years of my life, bro. 2019, bro. That was that was a great year, bro. That was a great year, bro. And then COVID was like, and if I'm not even like during COVID during, like the, the beginning Begin, of 2020, it was fun. 
it was still cool. We were like, this is break. Yeah. It was, the only anno- COVID was actually lit. The, the only problem I was asked is the aftermath. Now, the only annoying thing is that, like, you always had to, like, be very careful with stuff. And, you know, like, I always had, like, for, I always used to, like, be like, oh, my gosh. Like, I just touched this. I'm out here with no mask. I'm going to die. That's what, <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's the only yeah. thing I was bad. Like, because me, yo, oh, bro, me and Jay didn't care. I used to go to Jay's house all the time still. The homies came over my crib all the time. So, it was just like, and, and I was like, and, like, it'd be like, Oh, if I want to hang out with my friends, Jay didn't want to hang out with me. I'm just yeah, like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. dang, that sucks. Yeah, so I was like, that's just that was just the only annoying part. Everything else was cool though. Yeah, everything else was cool. Right? Yeah, but twenty, they were good. But like everybody in high school, like when their COVID hit, like ruined their senior years and shit. I know they crazy. had no prom, no no. We got wild. to do everything that we needed to do. What Literally, did we, miss? we didn't miss anything in COVID. Nothing. We, we just did. got free A's and shit. Literally, shout out them. Any bro. earlier, any later would have been mid. Exactly, I would have probably failed that finance class. There was no way I was passing that class. I'm not gonna lie, I had this chemistry, bro. There was no way I was Done. passing that thing, bro. Cooked. They're like, oh, just turn in all the work you're gonna be. Like, That's what I'm saying, bro. Freaking my my uh my God. finance teacher, she was like, God did. Yeah, literally, <laughs> bro. Bro, the first day at class, I remember it was me and D'Lo in that class. It was a intro to finance, and she was like, I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be the hardest class you ever had in your life, and I will not go easy on you. Like I expect half of you guys to not be here next next um. Next class because no. I will not go easy on you. You are going to quit. This is gonna be the you are gonna this is not gonna be a cakewalk. You think it's gonna be easy, it will never be easy. I'm going to make this as hard as I can possibly can. So you guys some of you guys are not gonna be here. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, I ain't no busy. Well, I ain't no <laughs> like I Dilo I, Dilo was out of there. Oh he, I was, he transferred out. Yeah, he transferred out. I didn't. I'm like, nah, you you, you talking smack? I bet. Now, no, now I'm gonna talk, show you I'm nice. I'm gonna show you I'm nice. And I I almost failed. And then COVID COVID literally up. Literally, bro. And then I remember I, I talked to her the day before the final. I was just like stressing out. She's seen I was stressed. <laughs> and I remember she was scared about the whole COVID thing because like yeah. she was all nervous and stuff. And I remember she just gave me an A. I didn't pass that exam. I got like yeah. a fifty. <laughs> I didn't pass that exam. I said I did not. But damn, bro. I got one last segment for the pod, and then we could be out of here, brother. All right. Because we're gonna we're gonna stream tonight, people. Follow us on Twitch. Oops. Down the down below. You know what I'm saying. Please. Follow us on stream. New Patreon episodes dropping tomorrow. If you subscribe, five dollars a month, you can be part of the cult members. You know what I'm saying? We're not a cult. Let's <laughs> talk about cooler shit. Look at that so I have would you rather? I haven't had a would you rather in a while because I've been kind of my imagination's been kind of shot. <laughs> so would you rather wake up every morning getting kicked in the balls with Tim's, or get choked out to sleep every night? Wake up, kicked in the balls. Yes. Hi, Tim's. With Tim's every morning. Or get choked out to go to sleep every night. Every night, yeah. I'm gonna choose choke. Hear me out. Let me let me tell you why though. But the, the, don't judge me. This <laughs> hear me out. The reason why I choose choke is because like pause. Yeah. No, it's not pause, but like you about to judge me, OD. They're but, gonna judge also. <laughs> you all right, so like you ever have your girl choke you, bro? Nah. No, <laughs> you lost me. So like before, I really felt like why somebody choked me. I want that, but my girl choked like my ex choked me before. It's tough. And I'm like, shit, God turned me on though. I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, so you gonna? So I mean, if it's a girl, yeah, choke, choke me out, bro. So like, but I mean, I didn't even mean like that. They could have like, like in a full Nelson choke. Like I didn't mean like, like, it's, it's, <laughs> like, like, like this. <laughs> like somebody go like like every night like is it a woman or brawn? I mean it could be anybody you want. You could have a designated person. It could be Ice Spice. Run it, run it. <laughs> just, just, <laughs> just just go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll take a choke, bro. I take a choke. I'm doing that too. I ain't gonna lie. Getting, Getting kicked in the balls. I'm gonna lose a nut. Yeah, I'm gonna lose a ball sack. Every, I'm, nah, every morning with Tim's. Oh my god, you're tired as hell. That's that's exactly like I just wake up like ah, oh, this is a great day. Oof. Like, like and I, I get up and you just see somebody running my room and say, yeah, nah, nope, nope, I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm cool. All right, crazy. now, would you rather for a hundred million dollars swim in water for 30 minutes without knowing what's in the water or sleep in the jungle for two hours without knowing what's stalking you? Swim in the water for 30 minutes. Yep. But you can't see you can't see what's in the water. But there's something in the water. You don't know what it is. They didn't tell you. Or sleep in the jungle for th- for two hours. Like you have a tent, but you don't know what's stalking you. Which one are you picking? Jungle. Mm. Cause I'm just not gonna go to sleep. I know, but like imagine it's like a a jaguar 
or like a or like a tribe of freaking natives and they got spears ready to eat you. I might pick the water low key. Thirty minutes. It might be a I don't little. Know if I could try water for thirty, bro. Thirty is a long time, bro. It might be like a little. And then if it's a, a killer whale, or orca, you know how they kill people? They drag me under. They just jump over you and like land on you, so you get tired enough from going up and down, and you they let you fall to the ground and then. But like all I gotta do is just assert my dominance in there. How would you? It's a whale, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a whale. You're not. There's no way you do that. All I gotta do is just show them I'm like I can swim. It swims for a li- it sleeps swimming. <laughs> that's how that's what they that's what they do. Nah, I mean like, like, that's their shit. As long as I as long as he he looks at me as like oh like he could he can hold his own in this water with me like it's cool. They don't believe anybody can hold their own in water. I know, but like they tame like whales. They're not tame. But like I feel like they don't they're not gonna eat me. The only way the only reason if the killer whale's in there, he's not gonna eat you. He's gonna kill you. I know he's just gonna kill they me because eat nothing. They just kill. Yeah, they just kill because they just like you know they're they assholes. They're crypt. But like, like that's um, why. but like, imagine he fuck with me. Like he see, like oh, like he not no threat. He just like, like he just cool. He's just chilling in here. He might, he, mean, no. he might be bro. No, nah, I'm not jacking it. <laughs> no, no, you're, you're cooked. Like if I'm just treading water, you're cooked. Like or maybe if I act like um, like I feel like like. <laughs> I think you're cooked. Personally, I think you're. What are you about to say, bro? <laughs> what are you about to say? If I act like I'm like distressed, he might feel bad. <laughs> Cause like look, think uh. of. My arm. No, not even that. But like, it's just like, like, like I feel like animals gravitate towards like a killer whale. All right, like its name. Yeah, is killer whale. But like, if you're in the jungle, right? You're in there for two hours. I'm only in there for thirty minutes. Two hours in the jungle. There could be a jaguar. There could be a panther in there. Jaguars are big. Panther. Could be a. It could be a lion. It just could be a tiger it, in there. Just look at it. Look at it and do There's what? No lions that are in the jungle. I know it's tigers. But they. are they're sneak and they sneak on niggas. So you just stare at it. It won't kill you. But it could still like what if it's like what if there's another one coming behind you? Nah, you said one, bro. I'm on you. But it's not it, you're not it's it's the dark still. Nah. They're sleeping. What you mean they say they hunt they at night? At, no, they sleep at night, bro. No, they don't they hunt at night. They hunt a day, bro. You're jealous. <laughs> I, I'm not even scared nah, about that. Bro. It could be a parrot. Now what? It could be a parrot. I could be swimming in a fish with a bunch of guppies. <laughs> with a bunch of tadpoles. And something to no, t- take a jungle, bro. You take a jungle. I'm yeah, take. Bro. All right, I'm. I'm. I'm a swim, bro. That, that killer whale gonna be bro, bro. So he's gonna. He's gonna see me. And he's like, look at this guy. <laughs> no. If all these, I can see all these people in Jungle-y. movies taming these animals. I can tame an animal. Nah, not a. They don't tame them. They let them swim into a tank. They bring the tank and leave them. <laughs> They're not tame. I also think like, like with that too. Mm-hmm. I feel like killer whales are really smart, and it's like it's almost that's why they really be killing like some of the trainers. Because they're like, imagine we yeah. put you in jail, put you in a thing for no reason, just make you do tricks. Yeah. Eventually, you gotta get tired of it. Like, oh, I bet. Like, yeah, let me here like, let me get your ankle real quick. Sorry. Yeah, hey, you're cooked. What's that? <laughs> you're cooked, buddy. Yeah. <sighs> All right. Last, would you rather? Would you rather, for the rest of your life, fight The Rock every morning for thirty seconds, or fight Britney Griner every six hours, no matter what? Every six. So every six hours, so at least four times a day. Britney Griner, bro. <laughs> it's, just, it's just like, it's just tedious. You know? It's like, would you do 50 push-ups every six hours? Yeah. You can do it. But it's like, you don't want to. Like, you don't want to... Like, be- it's easy as hell. Like, 50 push-ups is light. Fighting Britney Griner probably easier. So, it's like... <laughs> yo. She's a woman. <laughs> he's going... He's actually going but crazy. She, yo, she weighs like 215. But she's 6'8". I'm not fighting Britney Griner. Nigga, I'm 6'8". I know you... <laughs> Nigga, I'll kill her, bro. She's cooked. She couldn't even get out of Russia. <laughs> Low ass pen fucked her up. I'm good, bro. She's getting cooked. Bro, I'm She's picking. I'm picking the rock. I'm not gonna lie. Dwayne. Yeah. So but you're th- getting beat up every morning. Every morning, thirty seconds. Like uh, the rock. Hey, Dwayne. Okay, I'm here. I'm ready. Nah, Brittany Griner is too free. Bro, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to fight Brittany Griner every day. For not every four times a day, bro. I'm tired as hell. Like we're gonna be in mad shape though. I That's am the good part. I am, but like one day she might get me good. And like day, like she might catch me lacking. Like yeah, it's one day. Every day you're getting caught lacking with doing the wrong. No, no, I know he's coming, but like no, but every, every day you're getting caught lacking. You know Britney's coming, but Britney's coming to really like rock me and stomp me out. The Rock isn't coming to rock you though. He is. The Rock, <laughs> the but rock, like yeah. Britney Griner, damn near almost a foot taller than me, cause. Yeah, you're you're mid, bro. You're like Kendrick, bro. Like I'm like I'm five ten, bro. Like what? Oh, was his name? Uh, Drake called Kendrick. I'm short again. He was like. 
that bar probably went over your head. Oh, because he's... Oh, he was like, the reason your girl ain't go to jail... He said, the reason why your girl ain't go to... J- or you ain't go to jail is because it was probably self-defense. Because she's bigger than you. Oh. Because girl is bigger than him. Wow. Like, way bigger than him. Oh, so because she was beating up on him. So, she, so he like had to fight. Self-defense. Wow. Because he's a low ass. How boy. tall is he? He's 5'7". Five, 5'6". Five, Dang, that sucks. Maybe 5'5", five, five, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie. I got to check. My phone died, though. You know the vibes. I think 5'4", I think 5'3". Five, five, I think you should consider, like... Suicide? N- no. Okay. I think you should... Cons- I think you should consider... <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my short kicks though. I think you should consider that that um you know growth thing, or just lift weights. But I don't know. I feel like, or you gotta you gotta find somebody that's five one. Your kids is done up, but you can't. Nah, yeah, y'all, you're just gonna have a little family. Five five three. That's a that's a crazy life. That's why I like I I be thinking like I'm short, but it's like I'm be with people nah, that. Hoop. It's because you hoop. Yeah, I'm saying all your so friends hoop. Like you, everybody you. I know is like my dad hoop six six. Man. Freaking my friends, most of them, like. I'm a normal person height. Nah, you're normal as hell. So I'm cool. But you're around niggas who whoop. Like, yeah, that's like six. So six. it's like that's normal. The, yeah, like six 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 eight six seven six five. I'm used to seeing six three dudes every day. Yeah, bro. But you're cook. You wake up in the morning and see a big nigga. Yeah, bro. I see six. Imagine, six. yo. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> You've been bullied your whole life. Nah, nigga, I, wake up and you see dad big as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I could wrestle him though. I nah, could, I, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think you'll ever be able to take that nigga in a fight, bro. Really? Nah, he's he a little soft, bro. Nah, who little soft? You little soft, bro. No, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, he, he not. He not getting me. I don't bro. see like I remember. You remember that time when we were driving to practice in the morning? Yeah. You picked me up. We was going to practice, and your car caught a flat on twenty two. Yeah. Wait it, for what? Your car just caught a flat to Newark. Yeah, we're going to Newark to practice. Really? And your car caught a flat. Yeah. And you either had to call your dad to come in because we didn't even have the spare or nothing, like nothing to change the tire. Mm-hmm. So then he pulled up. He pulled up mad as shit. He pulled up like, I'm not going to lie. He pulled up like he was like, like this was 1987. He was in the middle of Jersey City. I don't know when he was born, but fuck it. And 1970. He was, good timing. He's 17 years old. I'm I'm fucking like that. <laughs> so, yeah, so, so, and he pulled, because he pulled up with a tank top. Yeah. And his arms big as shit. I'm not gonna, <laughs> he came over and he was like, bro, get the fuck out the way, bro. Stop I do it. <laughs> and I just stand there. He's like, so how the fuck you even... Fix the tire shit. Like, I forgot about that. Dang. Like, he mad as hell. He's all right, bro. Get to practice and left. Nah, <laughs> if it really came down to it, I think I could really beat my dad up, bro. Yeah, nah. Mom, if you're watching this, send this to them. Let them know I said that. Nah. I can catch him lacking. Mr. Watkins can cook you, cuz. All right. All right. We'll see. Maybe we'll do it on a, on a pod one day. <laughs> a live, a live, <laughs> a live, live wrestling match. <laughs> How, wait, has your dad ever been behind the camera, bro? No. You got thrown behind the camera. They don't know, bro. Oh no, I'm a, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have him as a surprise. His dad's yeah. like stronger than me. My height, nah, he's tweaks. Yeah. Nah, <laughs> but you got anything else you want to talk about, bro? My phone died. I had one, but I'll save it for my other episode. All right, bet, bet, bet. Thank you again for pulling up, my brother. Of course. This is great episodes. Of Thank course, y'all again man. for tuning into another episode. Of no Regus podcast, episode number 138. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, click the follow button. Um, like I said, like, comment, freaking tapping with our gaming shit. You know what I'm saying? Tap. No regulars gaming, NRG. Yep. Tap in on Twitch. We're live literally tonight because you're going to be watching this tomorrow on Sunday. Tonight, we're probably going to be playing on TikTok, maybe Twitch. We're still trying to try figure that out. Uh, follow us on Patreon. We're going to post free content, but there's also going to be some exclusive content. Mm-hmm. Y'all going to want to see the exclusive content, bro. We're posting every two weeks. Every two weeks, a new Patreon episode. There's one dropping on tomorrow. Today, there's one on. Go, go subscribe. It's only $5 a month. You know what I'm saying? He'll send you some. He'll send you five dollars, possibly. But I'll you know what I'm saying. Five, bro. Shout out to y'all for the Patreon. And if you want, if you subscribe to the Patreon, we're gonna shout y'all every <coughs> every podcast. I don't have y'all right now, but I'll got you soon. I promise. And shout out to Sir Nucci for sponsoring our podcast again, bro. Them C boys, yes sir. Shout out to them. Tune into them. Great, great feel, great material, great, uh, great, uh, fitting T-shirts. They got everything. Everything great feel, streetwear, great comfort. Great wear. Sernucci. Fire. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'm yes, sir. Look, we different than regular regs, man. Gangster. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it.